the cuckoos in the trees. Give me an Anthony and Bull. Honey, well, round the trend here. Always when you feel in trees. Making a laughing stock out of me with your bloody puppet shows. Well, that's an end of it. Do you hear me? to it last year or the year before that. In fact, they don't have a record of them ever having checked it since you've been here. Oh, and Mr Church, I'm afraid I've got to tell you that there have been some complaints about a strange noise coming from your flat late at night. A sort of scraping sound. Um, anyway, never mind. Do you remember me talking to you about my sister Flora's disability allowance? That is not my department. No, I know, but if you could see your way clear to speaking to someone in the right department... We'd be ever so grateful! This one is for you, baby. Who's your new boyfriend then? Who's he staring at? Colin's got a new friend. Uh. A jar of fine cut orange marmalade. You see, Pixie Colin has to save marmalade from being eaten by the grown ups because every time marmalade loses a spoonful, he gets weaker and weaker until finally he dies. You hate it, don't you? No. I'm just not sure about the pixie marmalade thing. <laughs> Could you take your breakfast outside, please? Mm. Customers. May I have a look round? Of course. She's extraordinary, isn't she? How much? She's not real. She's mine. Where did you get her? I found her in a box of rubbish I was throwing out. You thought she was rubbish? No. I thought she was beautiful, but she was in bits. I put her back together. I'd like to buy her. She's not for sale. Five hundred. No. A thousand. No. Or what then? Nothing.
Listen, you have two options. You can either talk to me or you can talk to the police. Take your pick. Quite a collection. Started with Lulabelle. Lulabelle? Is that her name? That's what I called her. How did you lose her? I think you owe me an explanation. It's quite a long story. time. Morning, Bertie. 